Today I'm going to show you exactly how to make the super clean Apple style UI animation step by step. I'll also link the balancer plugin I used in the description along with the full project file and assets so you can just follow along. With that being said, let's jump in. So I'm going to use this image I got off Pinterest as inspiration and then just scale it up a bit. Then I'm going to use the shape tool to draw the box. Hold shift while drawing it to make it a perfect square. And then center the anchor point and center the box in the middle of the screen. And change the roundness to your liking. I'm gonna put it at about 150. Now for the full color I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool to get the exact same color as the example. And then for the stroke I'm gonna make it a grayish color. Now I'm gonna import the power icon and match the scale and position to the example one. And then apply a gradient ramp effect to the power icon so I can change the color of it. I'm just going to make it white for now and then change the scale a bit and now I'm going to use the text tool to create the text. I'm also just going to make it white for now and align it to the example one. I then duplicated the text two times to make the 72% and 25 minutes left text and align them to the example. And then now yours should look like this. And then I'm going to use the shape tool again to draw that small dot. Hold shift to make a perfect circle. And then center the anchor point. And then I'm going to make the full color white. And change the position. I'm going to change the icon to a grayish color. As well as the charging text. I then duplicated the gray text three times to make those bottom numbers and align them to the example. And then now I'm going to use the shape tool again to draw that bottom bar. And use the eyedropper tool to get the exact color. And the stroke to a whitish gray color. And then I change the roundness to about 80 to 90. And duplicated that layer and use the eyedropper tool to get the exact green as the example. I then rename those shape layers to bar and green. I then duplicated the bar shape layer and renamed it mask. And then track matter the green bar to the mask. And pre-compose the green bar and a mask. I then parented every layer to the bottom shape layer. I then selected that shape layer and went to three frames in the timeline and made a scale keyframe, then went to the start and then changed the scale. I then selected those keyframes and applied the bouncer plug into them. Now it should look like this. I moved the second keyframe a bit just to make it a bit faster. I then parented the charging text to the power icon and made a simple bouncing position animation with it. I then once again apply that plug into it. I then apply the slide down by character text animation to the charging text and adjusted the keyframes a bit. I then also made a simple opacity animation for the power icon. I then selected the three numbers at the bottom and added a simple position bouncing animation to it. Just like I did before. I then made it so that they don't start at the exact same time. And then now I'm going to start with the bar animation. So firstly I'm going to add a green stroke to the green bar. And draw a line in the center of the bar. And then center the anchor point of the line and then place it in the middle of the green bar. And then change the stroke and color a bit. 
I then made a position keyframe for the green bar at about 1 minute and 12 seconds and adjusted the properties and I went to the beginning of the timeline and moved it to the left so I can't see it anymore and then selected the keyframes, pressed F9 to easy ease it and then I adjusted the graph a bit and then track matter the line to the green bar so now it should look something like this and now I'm gonna add a counter animation to the 72% text by adding a sliding control first then open the text and effect properties of that text and then open slider control and then bind the source text to the slider then press alt click on the stopwatch next to the slider and then add this expression I'll link all the expressions that I used in the description and then I'm gonna change the source text expression as well Now I'm going to make keyframes to make it end with 75 and go to the start and make it 0. And then select the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease it and then adjust the graph. And then it should look something like this. And I'm going to do the exact same with the 25 minutes left text. Now your shoot looks something similar to this. Now I'm gonna add a glow to that green bar precomposition and then change the radius to about 220 and the strength to about 1.10. And then I'm gonna change the tint color. And now I'm gonna duplicate it, slide down my character takes animation of the charging text to the other text as well. Then add a simple opacity animation to the small dot. I hope you learned something from this video. Until next time.